everyone, it's Tammy and it is Saturday. Um, I'm going to do my face uh, today with you guys. Um, a couple of you made suggestions on the um, concealer to try. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use a different foundation and a few different products um, that Patty gave me. So we'll get on with that. First of all, I just wanted to say, um, well, thank you so much for the compliments about my skin. Um, <laughs> I don't, like I said, I don't do anything special, but I got thinking last night, what is it maybe that I do different than everyone else? Um, I don't use my hands when I'm putting soap on. I, I use my um, oatmeal and honey soap. I use a face cloth. We call it a face cloth, washcloth. I get a bunch of these. You know, you get 20 of them and they're cheap. Uh, they're thin. I don't like the thick ones because they, they hold the, the soap when you try to rinse it out. And that's what I use. I wash my face in the morning with my uh, honey and oatmeal soap. And I clean it off, and the only thing I can see is that this kind of um, exfoliates the skin at the same time. Maybe that's uh, a part of my routine that I didn't realize uh, does something really good for me. So, yeah, that's what I do. I always use a face cloth. Um, I don't know. Um, it's funny because I was looking at my comments, and um, Janice had said how beautiful my, my face is, my skin. And <laughs> just as I'm reading this, I've got sugar and, and, and olive oil, I had scrubbed it all on my all my face because I found I had some dry patches here and I know why now. Because that mask I was using from Avon had, um, I don't know what it's called, salicylic acid or something like that and that's for acne prone skin. And that's probably why I had these patches here and I couldn't figure out why my skin was really, really dry. And that's what it was. I put it on this morning and I start reading it just you know, killing some time, and I read in its acne treatment, so I hurried up and I took that off, and I went and made a sugar and olive scrub, and I, my skin is soft, 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 all of that's gone. You can see I have a lot of um, discoloration, I have some age spots coming here, look how dark my eyes are. I don't have the best skin, by no means, <laughs> but I thank you for your compliments, and I also did a, um, coconut, uh, I put the coconut oil through my hair and I left it in for about three hours and I washed it twice in the shower. I just got out and I blow dried it and it just, it just leaves it like silk. I just love it because I found it was getting dry. Um, I only wash my hair once a week. Um, what I do is <clears throat> because the way I sleep, my bangs are like this in the morning, like they're just all over the place. So I just take this part and I wash it under the sink and I put a little bit of conditioner in it and rinse it and then I blow dry it and then I take my flat iron and that's what I do. And um, so I don't have to wash my hair every day. I wash it once a week. I'm dry. I need to take some Pepsi. Okay. Now, um, so I wash my face and then I put on Whatever samples I have, I use the Elizabeth Arden for dry skin. I have the window open so you guys, or curtains so that you guys can see my face good when I'm putting my makeup on. Last night it was dark because I did it at night, the um, concealer, and I hope you guys got to see the results. Um, if you didn't, let me know. I'll redo it. Okay, so then I just put that on, and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to try my Rachel K. CC cream today. And I watched um, Wayne Goss talk about how to apply the foundation so that the, um, the hairs, the little peach fuzz, doesn't show. And how when you're putting your foundation on, go downwards and give a flick, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so I did take my little razor here. Whoops. My little razor. And I did do the sides of my face, my mustache. So anyway, I'm just going to put on a little bit of the Rachel K. Only because I have the olive oil on my face. I have the um, Elizabeth Arden cream. So it might be a little slick. And this is um, a little bit mattifying. Just kind of put it in my T-zone. anybody has any ideas for these wrinkles other than Botox, 
let me know. My good cream. For the forehead, he said it doesn't matter because there's usually not hairs up there. I know that's probably bugging you that my hair is in my face, but I don't like to put it back because of my widow's peak. Okay, and then I'm going to use W4, and this is L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is another really good foundation. Uh, Tina, you were talking about getting one. Um, I would try this one. I know you had mentioned... Um, just a second. I'm trying to find my... Uh, I have a sample... Of the new one. I think it's, yeah, it's the Rimmel. I haven't tried it yet, Tina. Um, but I'm going to try this one so that you can kind of see what it looks like. And I'm going to apply everything with my fingers today. I'm trying to apply it the way he said. We have sun, we have rain. I don't think it knows what it wants to do out there. I want to go right into my hairline. A little bit down my neck, just to blend it so that my face doesn't look darker. And we'll fix that up with the powder. Everything shows in this light. I think I'll close the curtain. Now I'm going to use the Mali um, corrector. Some of you said to use the Mali corrector and then the Age Rewind in medium after. This stuff, you need such a little bit. So this has a yellow undertone, or a yellow tone. I don't want to put too much because I have to layer. I hope my videos help you. Um, like I said, I'm not a makeup artist or anything, but I like to try different things and I know um, when I have when I don't have any makeup on, it's pretty scary. Um, my eyes are very, very dark, but they always have been, and I think that's hereditary. But it is what it is, as Patty says, it is what it is, and um, I'm not afraid to show you. So that covered that fairly well, and then I'll use my uh, Age Rewind once this dries. Now I didn't take I didn't take my setting powder out. Just give me a second. Um, I guess I'll use. Find it. 
Where did it go? Hmm. I changed things around because Claudia gave me those bags and I put all my stuff in it. I'm looking for my Laura Mercier powder. Sorry guys, I should be prepared and I'm not, as usual. I don't know. See if I could pause. You wouldn't have to watch all this commotion. I'm telling you. Okay, just get a setting powder tan. I'm going to have to use this. That's all I can find. It's not really a setting powder. It's a bronzer, but it'll do. My dog's probably going to bark because there's dogs outside barking. Okay, now I'm going to put on the Age Rewind in medium. And let's see what that does. And then Patty gave me a powder from um, Laura Geller to set the under eyes and brighten. So I'm going to try that. Okay. That's not too bad, eh? And this is it here. This is the Baked Highlighter French Vanilla from Laura Geller. That's what it looks like. So I'm just going to take a little brush. I'll just tap that in there. I'm just going to put that under there. I'm just going to highlight my nose. And brighten that up. Okay, and then I'm going to take the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. Um, it says Foundation Tan, but I'm going to use this as a um, contour. so unorganized today. And I'm going to put that on a stippling brush. And I'm just going to lightly let the skin pick up the product. I 
bikes are out, people are out. Okay, and then I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to use the Laura Geller um, Blush and Brighten Apricot Berry. This is it here. I'm just going to dab that. and I'm going to add a little bit more of the highlight right here. Okay, and then I want to I want to darken my face up a little bit, so I'm going to use uh, I'm going to use the NYC here. Okay, and then I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm just going to move you guys over. There. And I'm going to use my brow kit. Brow fix, rather. just do my lips real quick. I'm going to use the Milani Lip Liner True Instant Color, Color Statement Lip Liner <clears throat> in Whole Pink 05. Actually, I'm going to put this on after my lip. This is the one that I really like from uh, Milani. It's the Power Lip. Love this color and formula. I like my line, my lip liner to show up because I have um, a small lip at the top. So I like um, when the liner shows it just makes them look fuller. Okay. Now, I don't know. Can you see my eyes? Let me know what you think of the Mali with the um, Age Rewind. Tell me if you think that does a nice coverage. I got a hair. Okay, now for my eyes. Okay, I did take out something. Okay, it's this. It's the YBF. And I believe these are matte. Patty also gave me this. 
Yeah, that's a mat. Okay. So, <clears throat> I'm going to put this color on here. And it's kind of um, just an off-white champagne color. And I'm going to use that at the top as well. I don't want anything sparkly or shiny because I have a lot of wrinkles up there. Okay. Now, I'm just going to take, let's see. I'm going to take the blush that I used and I'm going to use that um, in the crease. And it'll match the blush too. It's nice to use your blushes or your bronzer um, as eyeshadow. I enjoy doing that. Just matches up nice. Slide a little darker. Now I'm going to use the um, Bobbi Brown. This is in um, Twilight Night Shimmering Ink 30. This is the gel eyeliner and the brush comes, the little brush comes with it. This is another um, item that Patty bought me. Run that at the top. And I will let you know how um, these products I'm using on my face um, worked and if they lasted all day and how I enjoy them so I will let you know that tomorrow and I'm going to just tight line under the eye with this so that we're not seeing any of the skin Whoops. And then I'm also going to put, take this just halfway under the eye. I'm just going to let that set for a minute and then I'm going to use 
<coughs> darker shadow to set it. I haven't done my hair. It's it's so um, shiny and it's just falling straight. Okay, where is my eyelash curler? So I'm going to curl my lashes while I'm waiting. This is going to be a long video because I was putting around looking for stuff. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, and then I'm just going to set my under eyes with, I'm just going to use my brow fix, the dark brown. the Estee Lauder Sumptuous Infinite. This one here. I have quite a few um, mascaras that Patty gave me that I'm going to try and I will let you know how they work. This one seems to give some length, boy. I like that. That gave a lot of length. It's funny how always one eye is always better than the other <laughs> when I'm doing my mascara. And this one I'm doing right now is the one I have the trouble with. It's probably because we use the brush on the other side. I usually have a hard time getting the bottom lashes to do anything. This is doing a great job. Yeah. This is good mascara. When I can do something with my bottom lashes. I'm liking it. So you know I will curl them again and I will put more coats. I don't want to keep you guys any longer but this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave any questions in the down bar and let me know what you think of the um, concealer under my eyes. I'll talk to you later. Have a great Saturday. Love you.